Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the cutest, the baddest, the most pupperest champion in League of Legends, Nefiri, who is the newest mid lane AD assassin to come out in the game. I'm going to be going over all of her abilities for you guys, as well as just giving you guys my opinions and all of that kind of stuff. And before you enter this video, I just want to let you guys know that I stream almost every day on Twitch at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Make sure you follow it down in the description. I'm Grandmasters right now, and I'm really pushing for Challenger for the end of the season. So if you'd like to watch that, Minions click down below. So Nefuri is an interesting champion, and you could already notice I have two little pupper friends. So I have pupper number one and pupper number two, and that's my Executed. passive. So my passive is that I create a pack mate every 30 seconds that attacks enemies that I target. Um, and whenever I kill or hit a champion, oh, whenever I hit champions and large monsters with abilities, the cooldown is um, brought down. Okay, so my Q ability is I shoot a little dagger out that does a bleed, and then I can recast it again to do even more damage and like kind of pop the bleed for a bit more. And let me mouse over these abilities just so you guys can read it here for a moment too before I explain them in my more like layman's terms, I guess. So that's the Q ability. Uh, line skill shot AoE applies a bleed. And then you pop it again, and you do more damage. So Nefiri's E ability is actually a really small dash. It kind of looks like a like a cane Q, the way that it's casted. And you twirl in a circle and call your dogs back to you, as well as heal yourself. So let's see if we can maybe go in here. Oh, there we go. We got a little dash there. Some auto attacks on his ear. Nice. So Nefiri is designed to actually be a pretty simple champion. Riot's like really emphasized. Her abilities are not very complicated compared to uh, some champions that we've gotten in the last few years. But she's meant to test your fundamental skills as an assassin. And that'll bring me to your W ability, which Nefiri's W is a point and click dash. So that's pretty much all it is. You dash at an enemy champion and you hit them. And it's kind of like a Caitlyn ult where you could stop it for your teammate. So it'll stop on the first champion hit. Oh, interesting. So Nefiri can actually proc Electrocute by just shooting two Qs out at someone, which is good to know. So I guess the bleed from the Q actually counts as a... Oh my god, also, these dogs last hit for you. What the heck? These are like better than the Heimerdinger turrets. They literally last hit. Look at this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe they don't last hit. So I'm going to go ahead and max my Q because it seems like a pretty loaded ability. Increases all the damage and the cooldown. And... Nefiri's ultimate ability is you kind of just become super buffed up. You gain more dogs. You get a shield whenever you hit an enemy champion. You get some movement speed, I believe, as well. Yes. Hold on. Let's see if we can do something here. So Nefiri's E could actually go over walls like this. Okay, interesting. So if you saw right there, I was able to get a pretty good trade. He was out of position, so I was able to attack him. <laughs> So my auto attack range is, what is this, 125, which is good to know. So pretty, pretty low attack range, honestly. And I'm going to go here ahead for a, a dive here. Okay, nice. So the W feels pretty good to use. There's a small delay, and then you just jump at them, literally. And that's kind of your engage combo. I guess W, then E, then double Q them, or throw Qs in there, like, as you can. So I'm gonna say she does feel pretty simple to play, like, I cannot lie. <laughs> like, this is my first time ever playing this champion, by the way, and she seems pretty simple. So let me talk more about the abilities again. Um... Yeah, so it deals a bleed on first cast, and then on the second cast, it deals the remaining bleed's damage, plus more damage based on their missing health, and you restore health if it's a champion. Wow, okay, so this is a pretty strong ability. Let's see, can you cast W on minions? Oh, you can. Okay, very interesting that you can actually cast your W on minions as well. So you can use that maybe to get some extra range for engaging. Okay. 
and the Q cooldown is pretty short as well. And this is going to be your main wave clear skill too. Wow. With the Serrated Dirk and a Longsword at level 5, I was able to one-shot the back wave with two Qs, which is pretty good. So I'm going to get another dog here soon. Let's see if we can find Evelyn in the jungle. Let's go jungle hunting. Let's hunt with our pack. Kusante might be a little difficult to kill. I just drop some vision here. I don't know. Kusante went missing. I'm kind of spooked. Her her portrait looks kind of strange. I can't lie. <laughs> like, oh, there's Evelyn. Oh, boy. So can my dog kill, though? Dang, so close. Okay, so your ult actually resets, too, if you get some kills. Let's see, is Evelyn here? I was hoping I'd Blast Cone into her. Yeah, your ult resets if you get kills, too. And I'm just going to be able to last stick here, I think. I think that's all I can do. So I want to look to Rome again soon. Let's see what the cooldown on my ult is. 100 seconds rank 1. Honestly, that's pretty average. Like, that's not that high compared to some other champions who have an uh, even longer cooldown ult level 1. Wow, look at that damage from that Q. So first impression, the Q does a ton of damage to minions. Does it, does, or does it do extra to minions? I don't think so. I think it just does a lot of damage in general. That's probably going to get nerfed. It seems like a lot. Okay, and we're going to go back mid lane now. Yeah, her portrait here looks weird. She looks kind of like, like Renekton or something. Like an alligator. And considering, too, the cooldown of the Q is so short. Let's see what I max second. Yeah, I guess you max your, your E second. Okay, so an interesting part too is so your W gains range based on your ultimate rank. Oh, maybe I can get Cassante here. Hi, Bo. I'm probably on a ward. Yeah. Maybe I could find Evelyn. So how does this last? Or how long? 15 seconds the ult lasts. Oh. There is the red buff. Now where is the Evelyn getting the red buff? And she has 340 base movement speed too, which is good to, to note as well. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get him. I would just love to find Evelyn, honestly. Let's go bot lane. Oh, this could be good. All right. Let's press our ult here for extra movement speed. And let's run. Not the ton of W, though. Oh, news. I should have ignited her. Okay, wow. Huh. Her damage is very loaded into her Q. Like, you have to make sure you're weaving in your Qs. I, I don't think I'm doing a good job at doing that, so... In future engages, I'm going to try to weave in my Qs a little bit better. And wow, the cooldown goes down only seven seconds.
but I want to go hunt. <laughs> so I can actually have three dogs now, which is kind of cool. I might be able to kill here. Probably not. This is probably a terrible idea. Let me not do that. But what I can do is I can go over the wall. Yeah, not the best idea, honestly. Maybe I kind of baited my team. She saw me there. Oh my god, wait. My dogs are trolling me! How dare my dogs do this? Oh, well, I'm going in. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, death animation time. <laughs> I mean, at least I got her, right? Could have been worse. Okay, so let's get this and let's work on our boots then too. And for my second item this game, hmm, well, Dust Blade's my first item. Second item, something else with lethality. Let's see. Um, maybe a Collector could be good on this champion. Either Collector or Prowler's Claw. I think both of those could be pretty decently, decently good enough. Pretty fun, though, surprisingly. I actually, when I first saw Nefiri, I really liked her design, but her kit didn't seem very fun to me. It seemed kind of one-dimensional, a little bit boring. But playing her, she feels pretty fun. Like, definitely very simple. But also challenging in the sense where you are limited with your tools. Like, you're limited in your range a lot, like your W range. Although it does go up with ultimate rank. And you're limited in the sense that you have to kind of land your Q if you want to deal damage. Like, both Qs to deal max damage. She is definitely a good wave clear, though. You just wave clear in Roam. That's what the champion is. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see if we can find an Evelyn. Oh, perfect. Oh, noes. Oh, noes. Oh, wait, Malphite's there. Okay. W onto his gear. Oh, got him. Okay, nice. Oh, I was trying to see if, if I would be able to secure that kill. Okay, let's get Serrated Dirk. Actually, maybe I should just finish my boots here. The movement speed does sound pretty nice. Okay, let's get that and let's get one of these. So we know Evelyn doesn't have ult too. I could probably just find Evelyn in the jungle and try to kill her again. One thing I do like about her ult is that it doesn't have like... I don't have to channel it. I can do it while walking, which feels pretty nice. I do want that, le that level 11 though. That level 11 seems like it would be very nice. Give me that extra range on my W. Oh, you guys didn't see that. Oh no. It got cancelled, I think, by the Draven ability. Oh. Okay, cool. And it reset too. So if you see, I got another shield. And more movement speed. And my alteration lasts longer again. That's pretty nice. That one doesn't have ult. Yeah, actually, I can just go in here. Run! She might try to kill me. Hmm, I feel like Evelyn might not be done with me yet. Hiya! Okay. She has pretty decent kiting with the Q and the E. I'm surprised with how much I like this E ability. This E ability feels really nice to use. It really does kind of just feel like a... Like a cane Q, in a way. Like a scuff, strange cane Q. And the cooldown. Look how short the cooldown is of this thing. You can use this thing, like, just... To kind of spam it. Has 
All right, let's look for Evelyn in her jungle again. She's not, we're not done with her. Not quite yet. She might be on these. <laughs> I feel so mean. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, I got her. Or I got him. Alright, Evelyn. She might go back this way. <laughs> Guys, I'm so mean. Okay. Um. Can I get a Zier then? Okay, I can get a Zier. So your W actually tracks you, which is good to know. So even if they dash and your W's casting, it'll still uh It'll still go to them. Okay, let's go get Evelyn again. Hmm. Getting my ult here. Okay, I guess maybe I try to kill Kassanta first then. Okay, we got Kassanta. Okay, now we get Evelyn. Okay, cool. And look at all my little puppers. Oh, they got killed. Maybe Senna comes here. Let me think where Evelyn's gonna go next. Or maybe actually. Maybe I just hop over this wall and we get them. Oh, I think that's Kisante. Let's see if we can just poke him with some Qs. Whoa, sir. No. <laughs> no, okay. Well, that was a good 1v1. That was a good kind of, kind of, uh pace of my ability to turn around and the shield was very nice that I got there too. So third item, I'm going to go for the Serelda. Serelda, I think, is going to be nuts on this champion because if my Q slowed and it was really easy for me to hit my second Q, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage right there. So 85% uh, movement speed when out of combat. Very nice. And even you get you get 42.5% movement speed while in combat, too. Would you like to die today? Or would Evelyn like to die today? <laughs> Let's find Evelyn. Who are we kidding, guys? We don't care about these two. Oh, we found her. I guess I'm jungling. I guess I'm stealing the jungle with all my doggos. I wonder how good this champion's gonna be in the jungle, too. I can't imagine her being quite good. Even though she's not designed to be a jungler, contrary to, to the belief of a lot of people who think that like, oh, she looks like a jungler. No, she's designed to be a mid lane assassin. Me being like, actually, she's designed to be a mid lane assassin. But like, I'm curious if she's going to be flexible in the jungle too. Because I'm kind of unhinged in this video. I hope you don't mind. Um, my brain is just like kind of, kind of functioning on a weird wavelength right now. And I'm sure you guys can pick up on that. But I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, 
safe. Let's go in. Oh, this might have been a mistake. Oh, maybe not if Kindred saves me. Spin! Okay, no spins are saving me there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is haunted though. Give me this last whisperer. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So what am I right now? Nine and three. Okay. Okay, okay. Not bad. Um, she feels good. <laughs> like I will say that. She feels very strong right now. Like I said, her Q is the most absolute main ability and like point of her damage. Like look at this, it deals 100 physical damage and then inflicts a bleed that deals 300 physical damage over 4 seconds. And then if you hit them while they're already bleeding, it deals the remaining bleed damage instantly plus damage based on their missing health and heals you. And, and six your dogs after them too so landing both your cues is like huge for this champion or even landing one cue because at least then you still get the bleed let's go see if we can find a friend here maybe that friend has a name that starts with an e hello wolves you are my friends but you're not the friends i was looking for So we landed the Q, he's going to be bleeding. So I guess in Sieges, you just look for Qs and wave clear with that. Because your Q does a ton of damage, even if it's just poked. Whoa. Hi, Evelyn. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought I pressed my W. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, then. And your dogs also deal damage to structures. It's not that much damage, but any damage to structures is nice. Let's see, are my dogs gonna tank the turret too? Okay, they do tank the turret. But now my dogs are dead. Oh no, they're not. My dogs are alive. Somehow. So Senna's bleeding. And actually, my ult here. Whoa, Evelyn! No, no, no. Okay, maybe you would. Yeah, the range on this Q, though, is pretty low. Oh, I just know Evelyn's coming behind. Oh, there she is. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, yeah! Um... Oh, Malfito. It was a good try. Maybe I can get a kill here. Hold on, guys. Let me be greedy. There's no way this is warded, right? Who's gonna go for these? Draven? Senna? There they are. My ult's coming up. Hold on, guys. And she doesn't have ult. We hunt. Oh my god, that's so annoying though. The fact that that Senna, like, skill shots hit that. Especially Senna's W. Look at look at my little pack of doggos. Imagine this plus, like, Belveth with, like, a Baron minion wave. Okay. So, at this point, my ult's cooldown is pretty low. Like, 55 seconds is very, very low. So, let's finish our Sereldas, and then uh, probably get an Edge of Night. Edge of Night is, is a good option. Edge of Night is a good option for survivability, I suppose. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well on YouTube. I always hope you guys are doing well. Oh, there's Senna. I want Evelyn though. Hold on, let me ult here. Oh my god, this movement speed. Evelyn, where are you? 
Oh, Evelyn. Hey, yeah. Got her. Okay, in two seconds, I might be able to get him with the dagger. Nope. So yeah, you have to be very careful with your W. It is definitely a death sentence if you use it wrongly. Incorrectly. Not right. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot of damage. Whoa, that was a lot of damage too. That was a lot of damage from that Kisante as well. Oh my god, how did Kindred still live there? I don't even know. But I am dead. I am a dead dog. It actually it looks pretty sad. Being a little dead dog. Oh. 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 <laughs> so the damage pack mates become untargetable and dash alongside Nefiri, dealing damage per pack mate. Okay, interesting as well. Pack mates are recalled and restore all their health. Um, so surge forward, so it deals two instances of damages of damage. So it's the the dash and then I think like the final pounce thing. Your team has destroyed a turret. The fact that I get a 400 damage shield is pretty nice too. Should I try to fight Cassante? Maybe I can. I don't know though. He's the one that like I probably can't, but maybe I'm gonna try anyways. So we're gonna limit test here. Let's do a little limit test here. Yeah, I'm gonna kite a little bit. Use my Zyra a little bit. Holy damage. Holy damage with that if you actually like land your stuff on them. Surprisingly, the Q is kind of difficult to land because it has a kind of a long cast time and low range and it's not the fastest projectile either. Get out of here. Or maybe. Or maybe let's get back in here. Hey, yeah! Oh my god, she wants revenge and she's gonna get it too. I should have expected that. <laughs> that was what I deserve. That was the payback that I think I needed this game. But now, now that I have Edge of Night, no one's ever going to be able to do anything to me. And at least now I'm level 16 too, so look at the range on this ability at level 16. You have a lot of options when your ability to engage is that big, so you can definitely go for flanks with her uh, once you're level 16 and have higher ability rank on your ult, so your W has more uh, range. I wish I was there already. How I wish I was there to just jump on them. An ally has been slain. Okay. Well, we might just be able to end the game then. It might just be a GG with my seven puppers. Um, okay guys, well that is Nefiri. Uh, on first impression, she seems like she's a little overtuned with that Q damage. I definitely think that she is strong. I think that she's also very simple. And even though she might look like flashy to play, she's very not 
complicated at all. Like, you guys will be able to pick her up just fine. Trust me. She's not like 2023 champion. Well, she is, but not. It doesn't feel like that to play her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm and just tells YouTube to push my video out a little bit more. And we get to meet new friends. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.